Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now, we're continuing the campaign. We're just playing it normally now, going for the highest score on the leaderboards. I think I did the rest of this world without my bridge failing. Sort of. Kind of cheated in the last episode. So, this is the final level of the world, near miss. We have 23 and a half grand, a load of materials, and what have we got to do? We've got to get A, this car, down to that flag. We've got to get A to this bike up to there. So, it should be fairly easy. Oh, no. We've only got 10. 10 bits of road so i should probably start building this guy's ramp first and then sort of see okay so 10 bits of road nearly gets us across i feel like this could be fairly easy actually because all i really need to do is just make like two ramps like that surely stitch them together with some trusses and then we can see how that works oh no okay so car does ruin this bridge not ideal uh, so if i just make that deal because it's it's breaking there we go okay we did it first time decent first time however we're only in the top 49 percent and five thousand what is the top so i did it for 20 grand you can apparently do this for six grand <laughs> What? <laughs> How did Tyler get on? He did it for 11 as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I feel like the only way you can really do this cheap is by doing like two jumps. And I don't really like doing jumps. They're a bit boring. Still, I reckon something like that. If we press play. Oh, that's a nice jump. Oh, yes. Okay. Two and a half grand. That is one sorted. Uh, this one, though, has to jump and it has to make it over that point. So I probably need to do a slightly bigger jump. What if we try and do something like that? We can trust underneath. We're definitely going to need some under supports. Let's try that. I don't think. Yeah, it does, oh, it does not go far enough at all. So much bigger jump and therefore starts costing us a bit more money. So what about something like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. It might have to go slightly higher. We can we can do that. We can do that. Or actually, could I? Yeah, this car is actually going quite far. I could probably lower this. I only need the car to land. Oh, <laughs> What even happened there? Hang on, I need to slow that down. So the car's coming down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. Oh, man. Right in the face. Okay, so slightly higher then. I can see why it's called near miss now. Oh, look at that. Okay, so he's going to make it. He's going to make it. He's, he's not made it. I do wonder if I just steal like that. That may be strong enough. No, it's crushing. It is crushing. I mean, I can see I'm still, I'm still cheaper than Tyler, which... Oh, damn it. Okay, I may not be cheap than Tyler anymore, but we've made it for 11 grand. Oh, yeah, we beat him. We beat him. Top 3%, 290th in the world. Let's have a look in the gallery. So the cheapest, this was seven grand. Oh, look. Wait, that broke. I don't care about broken designs. Here we go. So what's this? 8,300. Oh, look at that. Okay, watch out again. Look at this. So that's a bit of road that flaps round. Oh, <laughs> and it makes a temporary higher jump because then you don't have to support that last bit. Oh, that's clever. I mean, yeah, basically, I think my left jump was a bit too big. Yeah, everyone's using like wall braces over this side as well. I probably should have done that. All right, so for the expensive ones, we have steel jumps. Oh, they did slow motion for the dramatics. Uh, we've got very reinforced jumps. Like you probably could have got rid of most of that steel if you just connect them together. Like this guy. It's connected together, but it is two jumps still. Oh, look, RCE propaganda as well. Nice, bit more RCE propaganda. Ooh, by Real Software Engineer. We have a very cable-stayed bridge. Look at that. This one where they jump in the middle. Oh, look at the number of backflips. <laughs> and wheelie to finish. 10 points for style there. We've then got RCE is a, is a what? I beg your pardon. And the most expensive is the most efficient, technically. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of blue balls, but not red balls. Anyway, that means we are on to a new world, the Lava Lagoon. Now, similar to the last one, the difficulty rating is only two sheeps. Sheeps? Or just sheep? Or sheep eye? And uh, this first one is called Make Ends Meet. We've got 17 grand. We've only got road and wood to play with. And uh, let's... Oh, look at this level. It is pretty. Like, look at the volcano and the smoke coming out the pyramid. Yeah, I like this one. Right, anyway, what have we got to do? We've got our sheep here. He's got one of those fancy old cars and he's wearing a monocle. Thinks he's better than us. However, we do have to get him across this bridge. Well, there's no, there's no bridge there. We've got to get him across the span by building a bridge because we're playing Poly Bridge 3. What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. Now, the question is, is it better to do like a straight across sort of bridge like that. 20 meters of road. Or do we try and come down to this 
foundation because we, we we can use that to our advantage if we do that we can build a lower bridge but it is going to be an extra road piece it's an extra meter of road i'm not sure what's actually going to be cheaper here but i might try pushing down to the bottom like that so we can then do two pieces from there we can add a wall brace in and then we probably just want to try and get away with two double arches sort of like that so we end up with something like that which i think should be stable will it support the car is something else let's have a look oh it's good it is good wait is it good yes old engine for the win okay so first attempt we're in the top 13 percent. not too bad what did type 12 five grand okay we're gonna have to trim this by a significantly larger amount because i imagine just bringing these down ain't gonna get us anywhere near that i mean it works but like twelve thousand eight hundred quid how did he go about that let me just have a look how much does like if i do straight across road that's six grand his entire bridge started with a five so there's no way it includes that so how could we potentially make this cheaper well i reckon we can probably drive on that middle bit so maybe if we were to do like a straight line down to say there-ish boosh that up with road then that's three grand that's three grand like what <laughs> How do you do this for five grand? I was just thinking like maybe a straight across like that. I've already spent five grand. I don't understand unless it's just like dangly road or something. But would that get us across? That doesn't even get us across to the rock. I was thinking we could fall down and then drive up. Now dangly road couldn't have worked. Surely. I feel like that must have been it though. It must be like a dirty, dirty dangling road. I mean, I'd never lower myself to doing anything like that. I will not lie to you. But just out of interest, I'm just, I'm just curious to see if it would work. So that's six and a half grand. So it's less than that. That does hold. It doesn't hold the car. I feel like this is where I've seen those like new, like the weird dangly roads. The ones that have like, I think they put like wood in between every other piece or something. So like that sort of thing does that oh no <laughs> okay so the gaps may need to be smaller let me just see if we can get to a point where it, it doesn't it just doesn't work this is cheating anyway this isn't engineering that's why i'm not very good at it because it's not engineering right right <laughs> right well, let's go back to this design let's try and make it cheaper i reckon so maybe something like that yeah that works although you've got to be patient getting up there so that's 11,260 oh 369th nice. nice top two percent can i just delete like other random parts <laughs> I'm making like a hybrid. It's a dangly road with trusses on. The trusses mean it's okay. It's not actually a dangly road. Uh, under 10 grand. Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, we can bring these trusses together like that to make them cheaper. We can then probably raise up these wall supports. And then we've done it for under 10 grand. Will it work? I think it will. It's just whether it's speed up. Yeah, he does have the power. Still moving forwards. Top 1%, 147th in the world. And I didn't cheat, sort of. So in the gallery. Oh, yeah. Shock shock in the gallery it's all those weird dangly roads like that which i could have got work if i wanted to it's just i realized it was cheating i knew better it wasn't a skill issue it's just i've just i have morals i have ethics all right so this is the first one that doesn't use that technique i mean it's still I, that's basically what i did it's dodgy i don't like it i'm not proud of myself but yeah it looks like you will get into the five figures when you we actually get to the point where like real bridges are being made. Although that's still a bit funky. Anyway, let's head to the highest end of the budget and cheer myself up. What is that? <laughs> They've used foundations and steel. Hang on. How did you get foundations and steel? Cheat. Cheat. RCE propaganda though. I think we're a bit too far zoomed out. This one spent the budget on this sign. <laughs> And that is the Nifty sponsored solution, which is why we need to buy Nifty's. Because all proceeds towards Nifty goes towards advertising Nifty on the RCE channel. Get your Nifty now for a reduced rate of just £999.99 for one tea bag. All right, love a bit of tea. What's next to it? I prefer coffee over no what's going on there's a rivalry <laughs> i will not stand for slander in the name of nif tea nif tea is the greatest tea ever invented ask any brit in the world like uh, go ask the biffing brit go sit go ask him oi spiff is nif tea the greatest tea ever made it will say yes 
100%. This is absolute slander. Slander. Depends on your accent how you pronounce that. Morins, I'm sorry to use this word, but you're an absolute architect. Anyway, let's cheer myself up with some efficient engineering. Yeah, look at that. You can see the strong supports at the bottom using road. We got the two dong dangle, which uses the aerodynamics to help support the bridge, as well as, oh, RCE. And I don't know what that was underneath. Was it like the side angle of an upside down crocodile? Like its head? I think it was. This one with some RC propaganda, a key next to my name, and then two big pillars. Because uh, if you want to make this like a, a cable stayed bridge, maybe there's like, maybe there's like a military parade coming up. They know there's going to be tanks over. We've got pillars in place. Should we need to add cables to temporarily make this bridge stronger? That is very, very clever. We've got, oh my goodness. Look at the truss work down there. The RCE propaganda, which turns into absolute carnage. Subliminal messaging. Did it say RCE or is that just what you're thinking in your head because of all the propaganda you've seen recently? We've then got the touching tips truss, a beautiful cable stayed solution with a with an eye truss muscle in the middle. We've got the sign graph bridge, the smile, add some eyes up there and there we have a smile. And then we move on to the next level, anchors ass way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Asway. There's only one S. Anchors Asway. What does Asway mean? Is that a typo or is that legit? Asway. What's an Asway? Oh, it means swinging, according to Google. In which case... Oh, okay. I think that's... I think that's why we have this. We're gonna... Oh, it's gonna be one of these sorts of ones for the top solution, isn't it? Okay, well, let's have a think about how we would actually do this. So we need some extra support so we don't rotate. So we can rest that down there. That's cool. Then we can truss up to here. Then potentially put road on top. I'm just wondering, would it be worth using steel to start? Because, oh yeah, there's a lot of pressure on this. So we'll do something like that. I think we need to make that gap smaller, annoyingly. Okay, then we'll need a bit more road to try and get over to this swing. Okay, but then it picks up speed. Oh, wow, and goes straight into that. Okay, so now we just need to sort of try and work out where this needs to swing in order to get to the right place. So we need to start higher. And then... Oh, that's not far off. If we just start... Hmm, I feel like the timing of this is almost impossible. I don't know if it is actually the way to do this. Okay, well, that was a failed idea. I still think, though, we probably want to come down to that point. So let's just shove road in like that. We'll keep the road going this direction. I want to get up high so that the whatever's hanging from that is shorter. And then probably just a jump to the end. We don't need to go all the way if we're trying to save budget. So we'll do a truss on top and then you can see that's hanging from that. Probably truss underneath and then try to get the force to like come down smoothly. These might need to be all steel from what I saw earlier. And then it's just a case of like trying to get these not to snap. Yeah, because as soon as we put weight on there, there's a lot of force to the left. So what if we like rope over to there? Oh, that's made it way stronger. We did break down there though. That's probably because the kadunk. So we'll try and get rid of that by going making it smoother. All right, so how's that? Okay, we made it to the end. 17 and a half grand. Oh, top 7% still. I do want to have a look in the gallery, see if anyone did a swing. No, they didn't do a swing. They didn't do a swing, though they may not be the cheapest solutions. Cheapest solution under 10 grand. Blooming hell. Anyway, we'll watch this with the stress on and try and work out how we can make it cheaper. I feel like a lot of this could be wood. If we make those three wood, yeah, that works fine. Can we make this rope shorter? Maybe go to that one? Oh, that now makes that strong. Okay, so what does that cost? So that's 1,800, nearly 1,900 plus 300. The 300 increase to 900 when you use steel. Whereas a rope to there is only like 400 more expensive. So yeah, probably better to stick with my first solution and the wood. I do actually wonder, could I get away with getting rid of the rope? So we've got a wooden cable. Is that going to be strong enough? Oh, it is. It is. Okay, could I get away with doing what we saw on a previous level where we have a flappy bit of road? So it flaps up like that. If we went higher, maybe we don't need a bit of road on the end at all. That nearly made that jump. We bring all these up a little bit. I'm not too high because look at the headroom there. That's probably as high as we can go. Can I just push all these to the right a bit? All right, so I've moved everything to the right. I think that's... Yeah, no! <laughs> okay, perhaps I can make that gap slightly bigger just so I got a bit more room to move everything right. Because getting rid of a bit of road is actually really good here because I need like a truss on top, which is more wood and stuff. Oh, it's so close. Okay, right. How's that? Come on. Come on. Do the jump. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, the back wheels. 
the back wheels. Okay, to be fair, I can probably move this to the right quite a bit. Oh, not too much. Okay, so that's given us a few more pixels to work with. Can it make the jump? It did. Well, sort of. And the bridge broke. Okay, okay. After lots of tweaking, we finally just about make it. Okay, now we can try and make this thing cheaper, which means watching with the stress on and trying to work out what pieces we don't need. And can I get away with roads down here rather than steel and can i replace those with just i don't know maybe a muscle like that oh no that is stressed that is very stressed okay so that's working pretty good i really i need to get rid of these if i'm honest so that's two and a half grand that is 1300 it is not gonna be strong enough but oh oh it is oh it is because there's a bit more flex now our ambulance didn't quite make it. I wonder if I can just tweak these. Okay, nice, nice. We're looking good. We'll try and make all of this a bit cheaper. Bring you down. Bring all of you lot down. Make this road shorter. All right, then that'll probably do us 13,285. Ambulance makes it across. I saved the day. Top 1%. 108. Did we beat Tyler? Oh, only just. Only by a few hundred quid. No idea how you get under 10,000 on that. Let's have a look in the gallery if we can see. No, but these are like three grand more than mine. So, oh my. <laughs> oh, wow. So they made it. So you only needed, you didn't need the long cable across there. Yeah, supports on the rock underneath, which I did do initially. But I guess you angle the ambulance down so the weight comes down to that node. Uh... Yeah, this one is a bit more like my one, I guess. Again, all about doing the jump at the end, limiting the amount of road and stuff. So let's have a look at some of these high budget solutions. We have RCE propaganda. Nice little sun there. A couple of crayons. We've got the RCE dangle there. That acts as a nice counterweight, as does that part. This one, oh, look at that. RCE in red built into the truss there. That is what we're talking about. This, it's, oh my goodness, it's steps. And it's the nifty wanted solution. And then we've... <laughs> We got another one of those. Uh, more of those. One like that. One with a very pointy end. And what is going on here? So it, this person's like, I only know flat bridges. I will not bow to your wonk bridges. And look at all, all the mucilage we needed over that side to support that. There's also a, a cable stayed sort of suspension-y one. Did someone do a swing? I mean... Okay, they did a swing. Oh, I was going to say it's useless, but it's not. It bumps the um, it bumps the ambulance up. That's insane. Okay, lots of cool bridges on that one. But now we're on to the next one. Wavy way. We have 66 grand. And oh, look, rainbow paint job on the van. Uh, okay, I see why it's called wavy way. Because we've got to get our, our camper van. We've got to get it through the two stars. So we're going to need sort of a, a wavy bridge. So if we go up to there and unlock the tangents, I can probably get some sort of curve that will allow us to do this. Now, we only need to touch the stars so i can probably get that one by going sort of through there and likewise here i only need like the top of my truck to get that so probably something like that so let's push this in and then i'm gonna fill this in i'm gonna like try and truss it up and you know what that means it's engineering time ah, look at all the lovely bridges <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Paddy designs the bridges that need to be built in the game. Poly Bridge 3, avoiding hydraulics, building the cheapest of bridges that can barely stand. Help is at hand, all the lovely bridges are in the gallery. All the lovely bridges, propaganda RCE. Okay, so I've come up with a bridge that I think works. I use tension to get like an anchor down the middle. So we've basically got two spans. Now we get to the end, we're almost half budget actually, quite nice. Oh, top 1%. Where does that rank us? 208. Not bad for my first stab at this. Yeah, but let's watch this with the stress on to see how it works. So you can see the, the rope is pretty much always in tension. That's because the entire weight of this bridge is sort of pressing down on this point. So what does the stress actually go up? to 90 or 95 because the cheapest way to sort of fix this would be to raise that up but i think that will probably cause yeah failure and it was of that rope 
I am wondering though, maybe if I went over this way a bit, would that help us? Oh, yes, it did. We're now 34 grand. Okay, 194th now. Okay, so on this side, you can see we've got wall brace there. Then we've got a little up and over. And then we've got the arch down to here. I'm sort of wondering, should I try and do that on this side? So if I lose like up to that point, then we can go over the top, perhaps down to there. We might need to make this one a bit longer. Oh, that has added some movement to our bridge. And that movement, I think, is... Yeah, it's making that break. So maybe I do need to connect those together. Okay, so I've sort of made this probably as cheap as I can get. I mean, I could could maybe make it cheaper. We're still like, what are we, 33, just under 34 grand. The top people have done it for 22. Now, hopefully there's no dangly roads in play. Hang on, what has Tyler got? Oh, he's got it for 29 as well. Yeah, so what I was thinking, maybe tension isn't the way to do this. Because if I didn't have that underneath, we're down to just 26 grand. Now, obviously, there's no node there, so that will just collapse. So we need to design this in a way that we only use the edge supports. So what I was thinking, doing like doing the huge like sine curve, you can sort of do that with like a bit of rope. So if I just add like a node there and there-ish, add a node to the middle. I don't know how high I want to go actually. I probably I probably want to try and keep it like the height of like a wooden triangle. So like that sort of thing. So if we say curve tool from down there up to there, maybe I've gone too low, I don't know. But unlock the tangents and then do something like that. That's probably too low actually. But something like that. Let's just truss that together. And then we may just want steel down here. And then perhaps something like this for that side. Right. Then just to make sure this works, I all I need to do is make sure we've got tension between that and that. And that will hold these in place. And then we can just make sure we're supporting the road. So maybe if I swap that one with a wooden cable, then we got the road above being supported. So then we do the same on this side. So then we end up with something like that. So basically the force sort of comes down the middle. It sticks along along these curves and these places are held in place with the with the tension of the rope there same on this side you see we've got the rope holding it in place and then this road just rests either on the steel or on the rope basically so you can see like on this side this bit of road that's sitting on the cable so as it drives along okay yeah sort of works let's have a look at the stress while that's on so we'll slow it down. You see the middle. This ideally should all be steel, but I'm trying to do it cheap, remember? I'm already on 32 grand. So yeah, that piece broke. So let's just make that a bit bigger. I'll probably have to do the same on the other side. It may be worth bringing the road up just to like arch as well a little bit. But if I just quickly make all of this steel, that's where the majority of the force is going to go. You can sort of see those bits, they're sort of always yellowy orange, but uh, that works. So maybe we can trim this down because this is already three grand more expensive than my last design, but I feel like it could be made a lot cheaper. So ideally, I want to make all this middle section wood because then we are cheaper than our previous design already. Down here could be worth trying to get muscles in, like wooden muscles. I mean, how red does that rope go fairly red but maybe i can sort of replace some of it with wood okay i've just made this middle span shorter as well uh, just because it kept breaking it does mean i can make it wood now which is nice and oh a bit of movement on that side but it did work 33 grand okay well can we swap some of these ropes with wood like maybe bring them up as well if I can get two bits of wood in there, that would be good. Oh, that was a rhyme. Maybe bring these up as well. So yeah, may as well get as much value out of these steels as I can. Okay, so that size is fairly good. It's just a case of do I get rid of the do I get rid of these steels for muscles? I think probably. Is it strong enough? Oh, no, not quite. Maybe make it a little bit wider. Oh, okay. This bottom one may need to stay as steel, annoyingly. Although, I should probably replace all of these. Because remember, we have weight per material now. 0.33. If we make it wood, 0.22. And obviously, if things above weigh less, then we require less strength down below. So let's swap that for one as well. Lovely. Then we're down to 31 grand. And we've still got this side to uh, shave. So again, probably worth trying to replace these with wood to start start with. Okay, I'm also thinking we bring this down because then there's like less wood needed underneath. We're not supporting as much. But again, with this one struggling to get under that 30 grand mark. So maybe I don't want to do that shape. Like I could probably keep it over here for, for that sort of bit. But what if I just keep that as a bit of an arch? I mean, it already is nearly an arch. That could 
that could work. Like this point is sort of like something like that, maybe. If we press play, oh, it holds. It won't hold the car, but I feel like that could be what we need to aim for here. If I bring the roads up to help with strength, also make the trusses bigger, maybe reduce the speed ban by going like over to there-ish. As long as I can get those strong, then this could work. So maybe if I delete that and then try and do this again, could make this side a lot stronger. Yes, so it completes it. Ooh, with just the one, the one layer of support. Okay, that's good. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so after lots and lots of tweaking, I finally got it under 30 grand. I managed to get that down to two joints. I used a big arch there. So basically, I've made an anchor point there. So everything to the right of this is supported by that. And then this arch rests on that anchor point and this one that I've made. So if we press plate i can actually i can reduce those ends a little bit they don't go too red this goes very red still under 30 grand where are we oh yes 34th in the world we must have smashed tyler oh he's 27th okay give me a sec few moments later okay so it turns out i can take them down really far so this is my final bridge looks a bit dodgy particularly this end i've got like you see under there i got like dual ropes i got that road not connected to anything yeah, but this is what i found worked in terms of nothing snapping so stress goes pretty high we're like well in the 95 area but uh, it works we get across 28,250 we beat tyler by oh, nice nice 750 quid and we are 16th in the world so the lowest one in the gallery is oh look by a mere engineer 26 grand i feel like that's similar to my last one they did their truss underneath though i guess you use less material if you do that only one bit of steel on this side they've got wooden muscles i did try wooden muscles couldn't get away with it looks like they've got like a sort of an arch going on there to make it nice and cheap well considering they're a mere engineer they did very good yeah it looks like lots of people did the the arch on that side the under support on that side uh, one do all tension like i did to start with uh, only just more expensive than this one so fair play they really got that cheap they put the the tension anchor on like that side rather than this side though yeah there's a tension one in the middle nice we got the sort of under over arch that i tried in the middle decent and then the highest budget course we have rc propaganda <laughs> you gotta stop doing that you gotta stop doing that we've got all oh, the nifty sponsored rc propaganda cheers for that another one here trying to prove bigger is better when it comes to propaganda oh look at this a double cable stayed bridge with very efficient underwater support. This one, a single span cable stayed bridge. Look at the movement on those ropes. Fair play. Keeping the curve in there is quite impressive. We got a snake. Looks like it's eaten something that's got stuck in its throat. Maybe a couple of nuts or something. We got that one with two faces hanging underneath. A very nice through arch with the suspension cables underneath. Nice one, hell set. And some crazy tension going on there. Next level is called cramp quarters, but you have to catch that next time. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.